Hi everyone, I'm Hoop Hildenbrand. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today is lesson three of a complete beginner's course, starting really from zero. And in this lesson, we are talking about plectrum, plectrum strokes. So we really um, introduce, I'm really introducing to you the, the right hand technique. And it will be also quite interesting for you to learn about an Indian syllables bow system in this context. So let's get right in into the endless ocean of music. <laughs> file for every lesson here on this channel and you can download it by clicking down below in the description there's a link you can uh, you can click on it and download it and um, I suggest that you print it out and keep it in front of you since I'm referring to it quite a lot all right so I introduce you today to the plectrum technique to your right hand playing the strings on the guitar. Interestingly, what, what I found interesting, because it ex expresses the, 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 whole, uh, the whole concept, actually, on, on, of this course, is that mostly if we, we talk about plectrum, you get this plastic piece. And this is a plectrum. And you know, okay, it's made from plastic, it has that kind of a shape, and that's it. But actually, when you look around the globe, around the whole world, different cultures, you find a, a huge variety of materials. It, it really, these are materials, of course, which, uh, which uh, express perfectly the sound the, the instrumentalists the, the want to have. Um, but also, of course, it has to do with what kind of materi materials you, you can find. For example, you find weird things like fish skin. Fish skin dried can also function as a plectrum. Or, or a feather from, 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 an, from, from an eagle, from, from the, the bird. It's also played to, to play the, the oud and old, old lutes. You, you, could, you could use that. Also, of course, wood and I, I myself, I use a metal pick made from metal and I, I like the sound, the sound of it very much because it gives me a lot of flexibility and it gives me also a, 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 a kind of a, how do you say, not a thin but more a, a, a fuller tone. But I can also can also um, have quite quite uh, thin, sharp sounds. I can I can demonstrate this for you because really the plectrum is, is doing the, the tone on the guitar. It's very 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 important thing to to uh, to to think about and to practice to be conscious about because most players they 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 only think about their the right uh, the left hand and uh, the right hand is only for for getting up to speed and I play with a round side this is kind of a kind of um, kind of a more exceptional use of uh, the plectrum I, I don't see this this very very much I think I, I have this uh, I had this idea uh, from John Abercrombie I've been to his workshop and he played a met metal pick before he switched to, to playing with the thumb later. And I think he also played with the round side, but I'm not, not sure. I just figured out that with a, with a round side, I could, could um, have a, a fuller tone and have more flexibility with tone. So um, I can demonstrate this for you just briefly. So I can, I can, um, I can have a, a more full tone. changing the angle and the, the way of movement. So 
so I can make variations. <laughs> this uh, plectrum very much. I use it already since maybe 20 years. I don't want to force you to, to also play with a metal pick. In fact, a lot of uh, guitar uh, shops, uh, a lot of dealers, they say don't use it because you will destroy uh, the, the strings. I don't care. Um, but of course, on a on a classical on a classical guitar, you should uh, use a plastic pick, and I really recommend you. There are two two types of um, picks, two 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 thicknesses um, of picks. Always, I, I really suggest that you use uh, Dunlop uh, Tortex USA picks, and there are two two um, uh, two different um, thicknesses. One is 60 millimeters, it's a, a orange, the orange one, and then the, the yellow one with uh, 73 millimeters. I mean, it's not millimeters, <laughs> it's 0.73, so it's less than a millimeter, and the same for the other, it's 0.60, it's less than a millimeter. Um, these sound very good on classical guitars. Okay, so you have a lot of materials, also the, the sitar, the Indian sitar, they, they have a metal kind of metal construction around the index finger where they, they, they play the notes. In Turkey you have the tambur that is played with a, with a very big piece of um, turtle shell. Of course it's forbidden now, so they use also plastic. And on the sarot, for example, you have a... Um, you have a, a plectrum made from coconut and you can you can yourself uh, sharpen the, the the end more to to find your your own your own sound what 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 you like it's quite fun actually it's it's nice nice work okay so you have a lot of different materials any material you can think up which is uh, um, stiff enough um, you can you can try actually stone okay how to hold the pick to hold the pick I, I have in uh, in the PDF file you can download for this lesson I, I, I made a page where you have um, six six pictures which really where I try to really clearly demonstrate uh, the way how to to um, to hold it so you should check this out. I just explained it here just briefly. You bend your index finger just like, like this. And on the end of the index finger, last part of it, you put the thumb. And the thumb is not, not bent. It's, it's also not really, not really stretched. It's kind of just straight. And I play, as I said, I play with the round side, so we have something like like this here. So the the, the round side of the, the pick comes out between these two fingers, and um, yeah. But you you should check this uh, this six six pictures I have here. So now we come to actually playing. Ta-ta! The guitar. We have two possibilities with our plectrum. We can have, we can have a downward motion. So from above the string we go down. Or we can have an upward motion. We go up from below the string. We are using in this course, course we, we start already now to use syllables which are coming from the Indian music. And the reason uh, why we are using them is because that way we can speak 
our striking our striking patterns how we how we play down up down up we can really um, articulate them and this is uh, later on for much more complicated uh, rhythms and and um, concepts this is very very great to be able to do and these, these syllables we don't find in, in, in our culture so I really suggest that you already now get get used to it that you can build on it later so the syllable for the for the downstroke is da and for the upstroke is ra so we can we can play and say at the same time when we play down da 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 or we use upstrokes and say ra 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 so down is da up is ra and we need these both strokes we come to the first exercise the first exercise is playing each string starting with the lowest to the highest and going back to the lowest eight times with da strokes and also saying da while playing them so we say da 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 first exercise and um, you may uh, wonder actually how how the movement is, is going of the right hand um, the thing is this will be a topic covered in a uh, future another intermediate lesson and if I when I published it uploaded it I will um, put the link down below and you should you should um, watch this video too to get a real um, um, real um, idea about about the right hand and the different possibilities of, of movement because it that helps you already as a beginner although you don't have maybe you don't have to understand everything and be able to do everything very correctly but you know where to look for and you get more conscious about the different possibilities but for now just try to imitate what I'm doing try to look at my my right hand what I'm doing and try to to also do it yourself okay next we're doing the same exercise but instead of using da strokes we use ra strokes so we, we play always in upward motion so let's let's do it together ra 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 So let's do it together. Da 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 da. And keep it really equal. And also with a string change, keep the tempo. Don't stop. Don't do like this. Okay, the next 
thing we're doing, we use alternate picking. Alternate picking means roughly that we use down and up strokes alternating. So we do four times Dara. So let's do it together. Dara, 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 and keep it really equal. Both notes at the same length. Okay, and as I told you, these syllables come from Indian music. They are also used um, maybe with some phonetic uh, alterations, variations um, in other cultures. But I learned them in India, in Calcutta, from, from, a, from a master musician, a, a Sarot player, Ranajit Sangupta. He showed me these, these, um, these syllables. I also read it in, in some books from um, Ali Akbar Khan and uh, Ravi Shankar, they all use these syllables and they start um, and, and do exactly the same exercises we are doing here. Okay, um, the syllables in Indian music you call bolts. So play, play the different bolts. That means actually play the different rhythms because bolts just means word. And if I say dara, 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 that is also a kind of a, a bowl. So bowl is, is word. And so the Indian bowl system for, for plectrum, for, for, for striking patterns, is really this, this dara, and they're coming um, to more syllables <clears throat> later, but they're also easy. Actually, the concept is very easy, but the, the possibilities are immense. So we come to the next, uh, next rhythm you should practice. And this is already quite advanced if you um, look in, this, in the traditional way of teaching, the step-by-step -step, uh, uh, teaching. This comes late, very late in the, in the development of a musician. Maybe it, it never comes because it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's maybe not used so much, but it's, it's a very interesting and uh, musical um, tool you can use later on to, to form very interesting rhythms. And we also start, we, we already start in this lesson, you will see. So the pattern is now we take three notes. We take one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the way we play the, these three notes is da, ra, da. And starting again, da, ra, da. So da, ra, da, da, ra, da, da, ra, da. So we have two das um, quickly after each other. And the other stri strikes are, um, are really alternate picking. So slowly it would be like da, ra, da. challenge is really to keep them very equally equally spaced so not da ra da da ra da da ra da then we have short short long short short long short short long this is a different different concept a different idea um, we really have like da 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 very equal da ra da da ra da da ra da that's the way it should sound like so let's do four times da ra da going back and forth da ra da 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 da ra
And as, as you may have noticed, I'm I um, on the first da of this three uh, three beat group. I I put a little accent. Accent means I played a little bit louder to to really uh, make make the, the the beginning of every new group grouping of three very clear. So I don't say da ra da da ra da da ra da. I say da ra da da ra da da ra da. So the first the first one gets a little bit um, of an accent, and I, I I pronounce it like this da ra da da ra da. But I also play it like this. Now the fun part. Now we make combinations. We make combinations of groups of two, dara, and groups of three, dara da. So we can do the following. We can do three, three, two. That is dara da dara da dara. So dara da three again. Dara da three. Dara two, and the challenge here is really as as with, with this uh, exercise before, but here um, especially, it is very important to keep them very equally spaced and to have an accent on the first of each group. So it's like one two three one two three one two. So I play Dara da Dara da Dara Dara. And I do this twice and then move to the next string. So Dara da Dara da Dara 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 da Dara da Dara 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 All equally spaced. challenge to make them really equally spaced and play the whole thing without mistakes so you get a lot of these are these exercises are great for for the control of the right hand and we want to make sure that before we start playing with the with the left hand and concentrating on the, on the left hand that we already have some kind of a, a good control in the in the right hand so i really suggest that you you practice these exercises the second grouping of three and uh Two three note groups and one two note group is three two three dara da dara dara da 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 dara dara da 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 okay and so on the third group is dara dara da dara da one two one two three one two three dara dara da dara da dara dara da dara da dara dara da dara dara da 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 dara da dara da dara dara da dara da dara dara So on. If we play it a bit quicker, then it sounds like this. Quite rhythmical. It's a quite um, fun. 
one thing to do. It's very rhythmical and, and the syllables and all, the, all of that, the concept is very musical also. So you, with these exercises, you make music right from the start. And you can, you can, you can um, figure out other groupings. You know, you can, you can, you can do every, every possibility of three and two um, groups. So you can, for example, you can do three, two, three, two, three, two. So dara da dara 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 dara da dara. As you may notice, you you play five five beats now. This is um, quite an advanced uh, thing actually already in in our culture at least. Now the culture is a five. It is nothing special. Okay, but we want to be prepared for all the stuff to come. So I hope you liked the lesson and please subscribe to my channel if you liked, if you liked it. And also you have a possibility if you want to um, support me, support my channel, my work here. You can go to my website guitar-academia.com. There you find a um, link to donate this would me would make me very happy to um, that you want to support me and I continue with my work. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is Hu Pildenbrand.